Hi guys, welcome back to The Wargamer and another basing tutorial. In this video, we are going to be uh, basing yarn miniatures in a snowy theme. Now, if you haven't watched the first video in the series, the, the basics video, then I would recommend checking that out first because that will cover some of the techniques we'll be using in this video as in more depth and detail. So once you've done that, come back here and check out this video and we can get started on basing your miniatures in a snowy theme. To begin with, we want to start off by following the same steps as I use in the basics tutorial. So we want to take our base, apply some basing glue to it, and then sprinkle it with two different thicknesses of sand, both a fine and a coarse sand as well. After allowing the glue to dry thoroughly, we can then prime it and start the painting process. Now for this particular base, we want to start off by applying a base coat using a dark brown. In this case, I'm using the Army Painters Dark Stone to give us a nice dark brown base colour. Following our base coat, we can then apply a dry brush of the lighter werewolf fur, just so we can pick up some of the details that we have on the surface. With the dry brush completed, we can now start picking out some of those individual stones using a grey paint. In this case, I'll be using Dungeon Grey. And then we can finish off by applying a wash of strong tone ink across the whole base. And now we can actually start applying the snow effects to our base. Now if any of the previous steps were a little bit too fast, be sure to go back and check the basics video for more in-depth explanations. So the first step in snowifying our base is to apply some ground frost. And for this we want to dry brush over the surface of the base using spaceship exterior. Now this light gray, almost white color will give the effect of a frozen solid ground and the frost that forms on top of it. Now before we apply any snow, we want to apply any grasses to the base first of all. So I'm going to be applying a small amount of super glue and attach the super glue, I'll be affixing a small grass tuft. With the painting of the base completed, we can now start applying the snow. Now to create our snow, we will need to get something called snow flock, and there's a lots of different manufacturers of this, but I'm using War World Scenics flock for this. And then we want to mix in a few additional items. So first of all, we need to mix in a small amount of PVA or white glue in order to act as a binding agent and allow us to actually glue the snow flock to the surface. Then we need to mix in a small amount of gloss varnish in with the mixture as well. This will create a uh, shiny surface which will make the snow look like it's slightly melted and give it a much more realistic looking effect. You want to use roughly the same ratio of quantities that I'm using here and then once you've got these quantities laid out, you can start by mixing them together. As you mix the three items, you will create an almost paste-like gel substance which we can then apply to the base. We can then start applying our snow paste to our base. Now, personally, I find it looks a lot more realistic if you apply it in different thicknesses. And this is why we want a nice, thick mixture. Applying patches unevenly will create the effect that the snow has started to melt, revealing the ground beneath it. But it's really important to make sure you don't have a uniform coverage of the snow across the base. If you do have any miniatures attached to your base at this point, you can even apply some of this mixture around their shoes and the bottom of their trousers to create the effect that snow is sticking to them. Our snow flock mixture is excellent for building up the height of the snow and also creating the effect of melting snow as well. But if you want to actually achieve a more fresher, powdery snow look, you will need to apply some static grass. Before you apply the static grass, you will first of all need to apply some basing glue on the areas that you want the grass to stick to. Now this grass isn't green, in fact it's a very short static grass which creates a powdery effect when applied to a base like this. Again, I'm using War World Scenic Snow for this. Sprinkle the grass onto the areas that you applied the basing glue, and if you're working quick enough, the grass should also stick to the piles of snow mixture that we applied previously. After allowing the glue to dry a little bit, you can tap off any excess to reveal your snowy base. And here we have the completed base. Now whilst there are many different ways of representing snow on your miniature's bases, it's just the way that I prefer to tackle it. And if I bring in a miniature which has already had the snowy base effect, you can see how it looks when used on your wargaming models. You can also see how I've applied our snow mixture to the boots of this German soldier as well to create the effect that he's been wading through deep snow. And so that concludes this video on how you can base your miniatures in a snowy theme. And whilst I just focused on regular basing techniques, you could apply the same techniques to uh, dioramas or even small scenery pieces as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, 
please do let me know in the comments below. And also make sure you give me some suggestions for future basing tutorials you would like to see me tackle in the future. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can do so by checking out a link in the description below to take you to my Patreon page. And from there, you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month, which just really helps me in producing these future videos. So the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.